So it's been just my privilege and pleasure to be part of this program where we're able to give back something very small uh, for our heroes in our country who have given so much. We're joined by Jerry Freilich, the Chief Security Officer for the Think Business Group at Lenovo. Lenovo is the world's number one PC company with headquarters in Morrisville, North Carolina and Beijing. Now, prior to that, he worked as a Chief Information Officer for the U.S. Department of Justice and for the state of North Carolina. Jerry is a Vietnam vet who served in the U.S. Army Artillery. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Tell us about Lenovo and your role there. Lenovo is uh, headquartered in Morrisville, North Carolina, just outside of Raleigh, and we're the largest uh, PC manufacturer in the world right now. If you take a look at personal computers and just even cell phones or any kind of technology today, it's primarily manufactured and assembled overseas in Asia. So my job is to make sure that what is being manufactured from our direct manufacturers and our suppliers are secure. So it's a whole supply chain because it goes through a lot of different steps. There's packaging involved, there's carting, there's shipping containers, there's vehicles that, that deliver uh, products. So you gotta make sure that nobody's tampered with it. And in fact, nothing's counterfeit as well. How did you get involved in computers in the first place? Well, that's an interesting story. Um, I got uh, interested in computers when I was actually in Vietnam. Um, my job was, uh, I actually had two roles. I had fire direction control for 155 howitzers in a fire base, and I was also um, the battery clerk uh, because I volunteered that I, t I told the battery commander that I knew how to type. But little did I know that I'd be typing up the killed in action letters that had to go home to the parents. But my job as a, a fire direction control um, uh, coordinator was the, they gave me a slide rule to use. And those were the, I had to use that as calculation, to do the calculations as to what charges to use, what was the elevation of the cannon to, to actually get in, in the air, what direction it was going. So here you are, you're under attack, you're getting incoming, you got to yell to the guns, you know, what's going on, how much charge to put in each cannon and all this other stuff, and you know, and you got six guns out there. Well, I went to the battery commander one time and I said, hey, you know, it looks like there, there's going to be a thing called a computer. I said, we need one of those over here. He says, Jerry, he says it's 1970. He says, you know, they're not, they're not even, or 69 at the time, they're not even thinking about that stuff. I said, yeah, they are, they're talking about it. So the battery command says, okay, well, let's put an order in for one. So the thing arrives at the, at the fire base, right? And he says, okay, you got your computer, now what are you gonna do? I said, where's the electricity? I said, I, we're, we're out here living under candles and stuff for gosh sakes, and we only got a few generators. I said, I, need, I gotta have something to gener generate electricity. So anyway, that's how, it, so I was just fascinated with trying to get a computer just to help me solve the calculations that I needed for the guns. What great foresight you had and how yeah, times Yeah, so have when changed. I came back, nobody wanted to hire a Vietnam vet. I, had, I was on unemployment. I was collecting food stamps, could not find a job. I said, I'm gonna go to a degree in computers. And uh, that's what I did. And lo and behold, I guess back in the 70s, if you could spell computer, you got a job because <laughs> I went from agency to agency. I spent a lot of time with the FBI. I ran all their uh, uh, administrative systems here in, on Pennsylvania Avenue, the FBI headquarters. As you said in the, in the, in the introduction, I, I turned out to be the ch uh, chief information officer for um, the U.S. Department of Justice, Office of Justice Programs, and then was uh, appointed by Governor Purdue down in North Carolina to be the CIO for the state of North Carolina. You talked about how difficult the transition can be mm -hmm. for some people in the military when they transition yeah. to civilian life. How was that for you? Did you face any challenges? Yes, it was horrible, to be honest with you. I, you know, I, um, I came back from Vietnam. When I was there, uh, that was the, the height of the war. Uh, 450 soldiers were getting killed a week. All right, so that's, that's a huge number. My fire base and the couple of fire bases where I was stationed uh, during the time I was there was right along the Ho Chi Minh Trail. So we were like ducks sitting on a pond. Coming back from a war zone, you, you feel so disconnected from reality because people here in the United States, they, they just don't understand what people go through with combat veterans or even veterans. It, it doesn't matter if they're in combat, but they're away from their families for a long period of time. And it's, it's, really, um, it's, it's really hard to get, to get back in. So you've got to focus on doing something and then staying with it. 
Don't go away. We'll be back in a moment with more of our conversation with Jerry Fralick from Lenovo. 